Well, good morning, everyone. Some of you kind of predicted this. That's right, I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. We're taking Miranda and Tater Tot into the infield, turn two of the Daytona 500 2021 today. And you guys are coming with me. <laughs> I'm really excited, kind of got uh, screwed out of it last year in Texas. They canceled all the races and then they held all the races without us. <laughs> this year is different. Some of them are open with limited capacity. I don't know what to expect. There's probably gonna be a lot of changes at Daytona this year, but it is time to go check in. I'm just gonna stop over, get a few things at Walmart, get some barley pot filled up in the RV, fill the fridge up, and then we are going under the tunnel to camp inside the Daytona 500 for the whole week. Hope you guys have some awesome Valentine's Day plans. The race on Sunday here is on Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm so happy. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uploading this video with some Nomad internet link below in the video description. Let's get it on. All right, well, I had to shed the layer of the jacket. I love that jacket, but um, <laughs> not to brag, because I know the rest of the country is just in a, like a deep freeze right now. However, <laughs> it's, 84 degrees today here, a couple days before Valentine's Day. Florida is the only warm spot. All right, just off to our right here, you're gonna see this grassy bluff. That is turn two, and I'm gonna be camping. That's on the other side of the track. Gotta go find the RV entrance. I see some RVs up here. This process could take a while. There's a race at 4 p.m. and there's a race at 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, I'm hoping that we can get in there before the first race, but the whole screening process, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens here. This should be us. I am looking for gate 40. Gonna have to wait a second here. There we go, gate 40. This is the infield entry here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We need some ID, okay. So we're doing uh, temperature checks here, and then they're gonna stage us. I guess. Hi there. Yes, Infield horseshoe. Infield horseshoe. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in. Uh, some things are the same, some things are different. Right now, what we're looking at, we are outside the track right now at the Daytona 500. These are people who want to camp out here for a lot cheaper, and then they probably have like seat tickets to go in. Uh, we are doing something amazing that I highly recommend if you ever get a chance in your lifetime. This will actually be my third time doing this. We're gonna go under the tunnel of turn one over here and camp in the infield for the entire week, which is going to be awesomely epic inside there. Uh, first of all, they have to reroute all of us infield people around here to get inspected. They gotta search your whole RV inside and out. You gotta open all your compartments and everything. Now, they don't want you bringing anything bad and then we will get to go in. There's a race at four o'clock today. There's another race at 7 p.m. at night. Uh, hopefully we can make the night one. This process does take a long time as far as I remember, but with limited capacity, we'll see. Might be different with uh, Tater Tot this time because I'll have access. You can leave the track anytime for this whole weekend and uh, you go under the tunnel underneath the track of turn one so we can go to the beach, get groceries.
I love you, Jax. You're so brave. You're so brave. It's gonna be so noisy this weekend. Do you think you'll be the only kitty cat inside Daytona? You might be the only one. Yeah, you'll get lots of treats this weekend, okay? Okay, man, my cute little Valentine. I am just thrilled to death about my parking spot. I have never gotten a sight this awesome, guys. We do have the road here, so that may be busy. This whole stretch, nobody's even here yet. I'm the, I'm the first one here. I got the corner little slot. Plus, he said, he showed me, he's like, hey, you want to park your car over here? So this is a site right here where I'm standing in. And then this is another site right here. However, this little corner strip, that's just a tater tot parking spot. Uh-huh. So I have that. Got my own garbage can here and also the front little part here. So, I mean, I didn't actually bring any cornhole or games or anything, but we could do something here. And uh, you can see the track over there. So since nobody can park here, I'm gonna see turn one. It'll be a lot clearer from the top of my roof there also, but people are getting a real setup. Look, they got a canopy on the top of there to watch. And uh, yeah, there's, there's the grandstands there. All right, so lots going on here on day one for me. It is Thursday as I'm filming this right now. We have the duels tonight. I was wrong. There is no four o'clock race. There's two duels that start or we're supposed to start at 7 p.m. tonight. However, look at our hourly forecast for the evening here live. It's been beautiful all day. I do not think there's gonna be any racing tonight. And unfortunately, here's a look at the entire rest of the week and weekend, all the way till Sunday for the Daytona 500. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong, I'm really enjoying this right now. However, I do not think we will see any racing. Somebody said that there's a new rule here at Daytona that if they don't, if they skip every race all week, and then the Daytona 500 gets postponed as well, that we do now get to stay until they race. So you can see now it's raining all the way into Monday and it takes four or five hours to dry the track after it stops raining anyway. Um, it's gonna be an interesting week. I have no plans after Sunday. So if we do get to stay, or if I'm the only one who stays till like next week, next Friday when it stops raining here, <laughs> we've been lucky. I ain't gonna lie, guys. It's been beautiful in Florida. However, anytime there is any race at Daytona, there's magical rain and thunderstorms. And uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. So we're supposed to start the race when the rain starts. There's also an airport on uh, the other side of the track there. So they're, they're taking off all the time over there around turn two. And uh, I'm finally getting some use here today, at least, from my champion generator here, running it. It's kind of loud, but I got my uh, extra fuel tank. And once it starts raining, I'm gonna move it under the RV and we'll switch to the onboard Onan generator. Oh, and the second thing going on, for the first time ever for me, I rented a scanner so you can listen to everything going on. You can stand up on your RV, watch the race, and listen to what's going on. However, their computers have been down since yesterday. Nobody in this entire place has a scanner. Even if you already paid for it, you don't get one because their computers are down still 24 hours later. No refunds, you just don't get a scanner. So with the idea that there might not be any races this entire weekend, it could be a quiet stay here at Daytona actually. And the other thing about the generator is this is all boondocking. Over at Lloyd Lake, there's some $4,000 sites that have power, but we are all boondocking. So solar or generators, a lot of people run their generators while they're racing because the engines are so loud. Going, you can't even hear the generator anyway. Um, but right now it's probably the quietest you'll ever hear Daytona during speed weeks. As we just sit here and wait for the rain and pretend like we're gonna race. <laughs> Ah, who cares? I love it. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't trade it. These people are awesome. Maybe there'll be some wheelbarrow races later in the rain. Yes. NASCAR fans are awesome, by the way. If you don't know, you just don't know. I'm allowed to say this, but sometimes this place is more fun than Disney. These 
people are awesome. My neighbors are awesome. Everybody here, I've met so many cool people tonight. Gosh, I haven't filmed any of my interactions or anything, but it's just awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, the trucks are going away. We are getting ready for duel number one. As long as it lasts, basically. Yeah, all right. Freaking awesome, man. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Fear me. Fear, fear me. Come of the first duel. However, Joey Logano, you can go back to your mama. Go tell her how you didn't win. Yeah. Come on, Harvick. Let's get that second duel. <laughs> Logano, just kick, just kick, kick it, kick all, oh, kick it, kick it, Logano. Good. Great. Daytona, baby. Son of a, well, good thing this is NASCAR. Come on, Harvick, let's go tonight. Holy cow, I gotta put the windows up on the smart car. It just started pouring on us, there's no more races. Holy cow, holy cow, roll it up, roll it up. Ah, holy cow, we are in the rain in Daytona. That is it, we are done it is pouring rain you probably can't see it is literally pouring there is no second duel harvick is not racing holy cow can you hear they're still announcing cars 100 percent chance of rain for the next 16 hours they're still gonna announce cars oh my gosh this is that part that sucks it's pouring rain for the next 24 hours at least and they're gonna pretend like there's a race it really sucks it really sucks this happens every year i'm just gonna you know what they're not even real with people they know it's gonna rain for the next four days straight oh well it was fun while it lasted they're still announcing drivers Anyways, I'll get back to you. I'm still happy to be here, I guess. It's fun while it lasted. Holy crap! I'll see you later, bye.